Hey everyone, it's Laura here from makingcardsistun.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a watercolored card using the Sending Sunshine Kit from Create a Smile. Create a Smile is a German stamp company and they recently released a card kit uh, called the Sending Sunshine Kit. So this kit comes with a lot of products and the first product that I'm going to show you are the pattern papers. This kit comes with 12 double-sided pattern papers and I just really love all of the cute um, patterns and the very soft colors. They're just really my cup of tea and what I really like are those um, wood grain patterns. This paper is very high quality and it's also quite thick so I just really like that. Then there's also a roll of washi tape included. This is a coral color and it has some cute arrows on there. The kit also comes with a stencil uh, that is perfect to create a bubble background. And then there's also a little bag of uh, chipboard pieces. This is chipboard but it actually looks like wood veneer and they're just so pretty and they're not too thick so they're super easy to adhere on, um, on cards or scrapbook pages. I, just, I also really like the shapes of these pieces. And then there are also uh, three flare buttons included in this kit and they match the uh, pattern papers beautifully. And then um, you also get a pack of uh, Nemo shapes or stickers. Um, there are four different colors and they also match the colors of the pattern paper. So everything matches together beautifully. The kit also comes with a die. This is an ice cone. Um, but you could also use it for a cupcake, I personally think. And then there's a stamp set and this stamp set has won my heart. I just love that jellyfish and the cute sentiments. So of course I just had to use this jellyfish on today's card. So first I am stamping the jellyfish onto some Simon's Stamp Ultra Heavyweight cardstock using Memento Textile Black Ink and I'm going to stamp that three times. So next I'm going to be doing some Copic coloring and I'm just going to turn some music on while I'm doing the Copic coloring and then I will be back. After I finished Copic coloring, I'm going to be doing some watercoloring. I am using my favorite, my favorite watercolor paper by Canson and I'm just going to add a lot of water to the area where I want the color to be. I am using Distress Ink today. I am using squeezed lemonade, spun sugar, dried marigold and then also a uh, picked raspberry. I will be using that color later on and um, you can't see it right now but I also used a uh, tattered rose. I don't have the distress ink pads from that color so I just scribbled down the distress marker onto my craft sheet and it works great as well. So for the first layer I just added a light wash of color and a lot of water and then I am going to heat that using my heat tool. I'm going to let that dry and then for the second layer I'm just adding more color and less water so you would end up with a more intense uh, 
look or a, vib a vibrant and bright look. So afterwards I'm just going to let that dry using my heat tool. You could also let that air dry but I'm just very impatient. So yeah, that's why I use my heat tool. I'm going to be using a sentiment from the Sending Sunshine stamp set from the kit on today's card. I am going to heat emboss it on some black cardstock by Basil. So I stamp that greeting using Versamark ink and then I'm going to sprinkle on the white opaque embossing powder from WOW on there and I'm just heating that, heating that using my heat tool. I cut out the jellyfish and I'm going to adhere them onto the watercolor background using some foam adhesive. So I'm doing that while the uh, paper is completely dry. And then after heat setting that embossing powder I am going to uh, cut that little strip of black cardstock to a banner and then I can easily adhere it onto that watercolor piece using some foam squares. I decided to give the jellyfish a little bit of an extra touch or a little bit of an extra oomph. So I um, used my clear Wink of Stella uh, glitter pen for that. I'm also going to adhere a strip of pattern paper from the kit onto a card. I um, couldn't put the adhesive directly on the pattern paper, I'm not sure why, but my adhesive just wouldn't stick to the paper so I had to um, put adhesive on the card and then adhere the uh, pattern paper. So for the watercolor piece I used some fun foam since that piece was just so warped up from the heat from my heat tool so I just adhered a sheet of fun foam on there using my ATG uh, but you could also just use foam squares if the uh, if the paper isn't all warped up um, so I did that and then to finish off my project I am going to adhere some sparkling clear sequins from Pre Pink Posh on there using EK, my EK Success tweezers and glossy accents. So that finishes up the card. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back very soon. Bye!